It is 3.30 on the East Coast, 2.30 along the Gulf Coast, and now our top story, the Gulf Coast oil disaster. And our next guest says, after a month of failed efforts to stop the oil, BP needs to get serious. He says BP could use a nuclear explosion to seal off that well. Christopher Brownfield is the author of the book, My Nuclear Family, a coming of age in America's 21st century military. He's also a former nuclear submarine officer. Christopher Brownfield is live with us, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Nuke it. It sounds as far-fetched as uh, junk it. <laughs> well, I don't know where they came up with the idea for the junk shop, but uh, nuclear weapons have been used in the past to seal off runaway oil wells. In fact, the Soviet Union did this as far back as 1966, and they've done it four times in our history. Um, that being worked. said, it worked. Uh, it worked very well. Um, also, conventional explosives have been used in the last 100 years to seal off uh, runaway oil gushers. Uh, it's been around pretty much as long as we've been prospecting for oil. Now, that being said, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as the best option. Okay, what is the best option? Well, I, I would consider using a lot of conventional expo explosives to collapse the well. Uh, we, we have a lot better technology than the Soviet Union had in 1966, and I'm pretty confident that the U.S. Navy, the Army Corps of Engineers, and other private sector organizations, perhaps Halliburton, Exxon, could get together to find a way to demolish this well. The reason why I think that hasn't happened so far is that BP has some perverse incentives to keep that well from being demolished. Uh, every time we hear about this effort to use a top hat or to siphon off um, you know, this oil with, with a small straw, what we're really not hearing uh, is the stuff that um, will allow them to reopen that well for further development later on. If we demolish the well using explosives, the investment's gone. They lose hundreds of millions of dollars from the drilling of the well, plus uh, no lawmaker in his right mind would allow BP to drill again in that same spot. So basically, it's an all-or-nothing thing with BP. They either keep the well alive or they lose their whole investment and oil, all the oil that they could potentially get from that well. Um, and as they, and sir, as they so, try to keep it alive, uh, it is leaking. It's leaking at a yes. rate that we don't understand because BP right. refuses to allow independent experts to go down there and calculate the flow. Many independent experts have suggested that this flow is ten times what it now that what BP claims it is. BP uses no facts or figures to back it up. Doesn't explain to us how it came at all of that. But the experts are saying these dispersants are keeping the oil below the surface. We can't see it, but it's there and ready to do harm. Is that all right? All right. Well, dispersants are not a solution to the problem. They're only something that's treating the symptom of the problem. The only way to really deal with this problem directly is to find a way to close that well down permanently. Uh, BP's been talking about using a junk shot or this four-inch straw that's going into a 22-inch diameter uh, fire hose. I mean. It's ridiculous. If I had a straw that reached all the way across the Gulf of Mexico, I would drink BP's milkshake, too. But it's not going to stop the well. Uh, you, you, we need to seal this thing off. You know, they've talked about all kinds of things that, quite frankly, to a lot of experts with whom I've talked, and I've talked to a lot of them, are absolutely ridiculous. Burning it off, even at the levels that they say are there, that would never have worked. Putting a hat on this thing, every expert outside of BP and the federal government has said, that had no chance. It's as if they're giving us a toy to look at and play with while they try to figure something else out to save their hundreds of millions of dollar investment while the Gulf of Mexico is being polluted more and more every moment that we speak. Right. I think it's irresponsible business and uh you know, frankly, we have an option that could deal with this immediately. If we were to use a nuclear explosive, uh, it or would seal it off. If we say. were to use conventionals. Yes, and, and I'd like to elaborate on why it, it would be inappropriate for us to use a nuclear explosive at this time. I mean, President Obama was in Prague talking about uh, trying to rid the world of nuclear weapons, and it, it would be inappropriate for him to use a nuclear weapon, even for a peaceful purpose, because that would give countries like uh, Iran an incentive to say, well, if the United States did it, we should be able to use a nuclear weapon, too. We don't want to give Iran that incentive. Uh, India used those same incentives, um, saying that they wanted peaceful nuclear explosions when they acquired nuclear weapons in the 1970s, and we don't want to repeat that mistake. Well, uh, it, it's just not a good option. We, we could probably do this, though, with conventional explosives and bury the matter. Yeah, wh why, why use a sledgehammer when all you need is a ball-peen hammer? If they can get down there with conventional right. explosives, blow the thing up, keep it from leaking anymore, that's the best thing for the American people, the best thing for the Gulf of Mexico. That's your assertion, right? Yes, I think 
stopping the spill immediately. And the reason why we haven't seen that option is because, frankly, BP is still at the helm. I think President Obama needs to take charge of this, bring all the assets of our military to bear, bring the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, bring the U.S. Navy, and bring in all the private sector organizations that have the equipment for deep sea operations to make this happen. Let's explode this, collapse the well, and put an end to it. It would be a good way to shut up the critics of the administration who say BP gave a lot of money to President Obama. Politicians are in bed with big oil. Big oil is running this show. Big oil will not let us go down there to calculate the flow so we know exactly what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico. Will not allow it. They, will, they are adding dispersants at a record never seen before so that the oil remains below the surface so that we can't see it. It would go a long way to dispel the critics' contentions that what the president and the, and the government is doing is helping BP cover this up. If it's not the case, let's be transparent. Let's go down there. Let's find out how much oil really is being put into the Gulf of Mexico now. And if blowing it up will work, why not consider it? As the Gulf of Mexico continues to get a steady flow of oil each and every day, and livelihoods all across the Gulf from Texas to Florida are very much up in the air while BP, Frank, quite frankly, is doing just fine. My commentary about this matter at foxnews.com slash Shep. It's up and there for you now.